Hi, it's Lisa Lee from your Fashion 1350 class. Um, for project two, I have sewn a dress for an American Girl doll. This is Elizabeth Cole. Um, she was born in 1765 in Lancashire, England. She's considered to be upper class, and so I think she's going to be the perfect model for the 18th century dress that I'll be making. Um, as of now, she is in her under petticoat, which is made out of cambric, uh, plain weave linen. Uh, but let's not stare at her in her underwear and we will get her dressed. Fashion dolls were an important way of communicating the latest fashion trends in the 18th century. Here are some photographs of extant dolls from the 18th century. The dress that I have made resembles the Rococo styles from 1730 to 1760. The open bodice has a very decorative stomacher and the skirt is uh, puffy and wide made with gathers. Because it is fitted in the front and the back, it is considered an a l'anglaise. Um, so here's the dress. Here's the stomacher and the petticoat. Um, to be historically correct, these pieces were usually separate, although sometimes they were made out of the same fabric so that they looked like they could have been um, one piece. These are engagements, the ruffles on her sleeves, and her hair is um, in a braid in the back, but her curls on the sides of her head were very popular in the 18th century. Um, so I downloaded this printable pattern from my Angie Girl doll clothes patterns. And it gives me a list of all the things that I will need to make my dress. And which I was able to find pretty much everything I need at home. Like lots of ruffles and lace. Um, and this floral print uh, cotton fabric that I have had. Um, this fabric kind of reminded me of this dress here kind of similar so I'm going with that and I'm gonna put a I just have a white muslin that I'm gonna use for the stomacher and the center panel uh, so I went ahead and printed off all my pattern pieces I have the skirt front sleeve bodice front and back I have the skirt back, this is the petticoat panel, goes in the middle, and my stomacher. I went to Joann's and got a polyester shiny white fabric. I thought it would look better than what I had uh, for the lining and for the center panel. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys my tiny little iron that I'm going to use for my doll size dress. I've sewn a gathering stitch on the front skirt and attached it to the front bodice here. Um, and then after that, I went ahead and started on my stomacher. Um, I folded and top stitched this point here. I attached some lace that will be at the neckline, and now it's attached to the petticoat panel. Um, so when it's flipped over, it's gonna look something like this. I'm decorating the stomacher now. I'm gonna be stitching these ribbons on. I also have put some lace on the petticoat panel. I have sewn the bodice front and skirt to the stomacher and petticoat in one seam. That is right here. On this side I have gone ahead and sewn the lining to the bodice. Um, while I did that, I attached this trim that will be going um, along the front here. I hand stitched the lining 
to the inside and now I'm top stitching this trim that goes all the way down the front. This is the left and right back of the skirt. I have sewn pleats um, along the waistline and pressed them with the tiny iron and I've pressed the left side um, over a half an inch because that's going to make a sort of like a placket. The sleeves have ruffles on the edge. I added two layers of lace to make them extra puffy. Um, these ruffles are called engagements when they are attached to the sleeve. Um, so I have already sewn on one of my sleeves here. I've sewn up both the side seams now into the sleeve on both the sides and in the back here I have sewn up five inches and left this opening here in the back. Uh, so now I'm ready to flip it right side out and hem the bottom. I hemmed the bottom edge of the dress and added velcro to the back. So I think it's done. I just want to add a couple final touches. Um, I think it just needs a few more bows on it and then we'll put her on. And here she is completed with her decorative stomacher. I added these bows. I also added bows on her sleeves here. And let's get a full 360. Mm -hmm -hmm. Um, here's her pleats in the back. And yeah, there we go.